I'm talking to Luis Ferlina, who is here at Bitcoin Wednesday from Romania, but he's Argentina, and he has a platform called Fermat. Fermat. Fermat, like the mathematician, Fermat, the last theorem. Of course, like the mathematician, everybody knows him, okay. Yeah. And you have a platform which basically gives us back our internet uh, transaction. You're going to make sure that we don't need Airbnb and Uber and all kinds of centralized or even Facebook. And you have a platform based on the blockchain which allows us to do that. How does that work? Well, the platform itself, uh, the focus of the platform is, to, uh, is a framework for creating mobile applications, okay? Yeah. But uh, to give an incentive of of people using this application created out of this framework, uh, we introduce a peer-to-peer -peer network that interconnect mobile phones, my phone with your phone and with everybody's phone. So a peer-to-peer -peer network, yeah. like a multi-channel peer-to-peer -peer network. That means that an application in my phone can talk with an application in your phone without going through the web, okay? So uh, by doing this, we are creating a new space that is not the web space and it's not the mobile uh, application space. So does it have no, it, it direct, directly talks to each other or does it use TCP IP to go through internet? Yeah, of course, it of uses course. TCP yeah. IP. What it doesn't rely is in any web server. No third party, yes, no, no, no third web server. server. So yeah. I can basically connect to your phone without a third party uh, and it's a network which makes that possible. Exactly, yes. That, that's one of the, the, of the cool things out here. So once we get interconnected in this peer-to-peer -peer way, then um, with this framework that facilitates creating application, we can create any business model running on, on, on regular web servers and yeah. port it to this space. But once you port this, this, this business model, they have some very cool properties that uh, the intermediaries start to be optional, you know, because we are already connected. So we don't need somebody to interconnect between each other. So in this space, the business of, of of matching uh, buyers and sellers, mm -hmm. riders and drivers, hosts and guests, is kind of eliminated, so transactions are cheaper, okay? So it's a very good incentive for end users to move from the web to a peer-to-peer -peer world. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But you first need, of course, some uh, very smart uh, um, uh, builders, app builders, uh, to adopt your platform and start working out, accepting a business model that there is no third party in between where they can get money. Exactly. So there is a, a business model for developers embedded into the system, mm -hmm. and it, 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 uh, the, business, the, the proposal is the following: If you build an application here, this application must be built out of reusable component. So whoever wants to build another other applications can reuse the components that you already built. So the more applications are built, the more components are to be reused. And I don't get paid if my component is being reused. Oh, no, on the contrary, the, the system itself enforces. A, a micro use license scheme. So you, you, you create a license that is monthly paid by the system. So the system debits the end user like some pennies per month and it sends it to you and all other people that create the components that these applications rely on. Okay, and what payment system is that? That's also built in, that's a cryptocurrency yeah, which that, is built into exactly, the system. Exactly, yeah. That, that's where the blockchain uh, is part of, the, of, of all this. So we have our own token system, it's called the Fermats. And uh, there is this microeconomy happening inside the system and out of the side of regular user. So the system uh, pays all the all the components already in this cryptocurrency. Okay. But, but the real the real goal of all this platform is to promote the usage of all other cryptocurrencies because the, our our token system's uh, purpose is for for paying these micro payments. But if the application uh, this peer to peer Uber or peer to peer Airbnb, mm -hmm. you want to pay the, the driver or the host, then you do it with Bitcoin or any of the others. Yeah? Okay. So this is a big idea. We can basically get rid of the Airbnb, the Ubers, by using a framework which basically doesn't allow to uh, get paid for um, bringing buyers and sellers together that's built into the system, but who has a payment system to pay for the software. Where can I, and I, we'll see if this works, because I have no idea. It's, I mean, I hardly even understand it, but it's, it's a big idea because we have too many centralized uh, monopolies now on the web. You know, it's getting bigger and bigger. And uh, the, the internet is now the biggest centralization machine of the world. Where can I get information on your platform? You can get it on our website, fermat.org. And as soon as you get there, you can download the white paper. That is a very cool explanation of okay. everything about the system. Yeah. How many people are working on it now? 
Well, I, I don't really know because there's uh, open source software and a lot of people is collaborating, more than 100 for sure, collaborating. Mm -hmm. N not only developers, there is a lot of people that are graphic yeah. designers and testers and things like that because these are, we are, in, we are facing the end user, so okay. there's, there's a new, uh, but, but yes, there's okay. a lot of people. So, firmat.org, let's see if it basically comes to the, uh, to the surface of, uh, of you as a user or you as a developer and see if they can really get rid of Uber and Airbnb with the system. Thank you.